Hey everyone, Nick here. So it is October, mid-October just about. And what do I want to talk about in October? Well, the same thing I want to talk about in January, the same thing I want to talk about in July, and that is Michael Myers and the Halloween franchise. Um, so today I want to specifically talk about the three biggest mistakes that, in my opinion, uh, the sequels of Halloween made. So I'm going to kick that right off. Obviously, well, first, let's get this out of the way. There's more than three mistakes, obviously. Uh, anyone that uh, knows this franchise, anyone that loves this franchise, and I do love it, can't deny that it's a fucking garbage shit show after the first one. You got how many timelines, you got uh, all kinds of, there's just all kinds of different issues um, that the franchise has. I still love it. Uh, but I'd be blind to, to say that it's perfect by any means. The original, even though technically it's not perfect, uh, it's perfect in my eyes. It's probably um, one of the most perfect movies ever made for a variety of reasons, which we can get into at another time. Uh, but we're going to start out uh, with the third, in my opinion, the third biggest travesty and mistake that the sequels made, and that is not ever mastering the masks. I don't know how hard this is um, to get the mask or a mask close to the original. Uh, it, none of them are close. I mean, shit, Halloween 2 used the same exact mask, and that wasn't close. Uh, you got Halloween 4, which, in my opinion, is the worst mask in the series. Um, they used a couple different ones, one pink with blonde hair, basically. Uh, so you got a, you got an issue with that. Uh, Halloween 5 is a terrible mask. Um, even the later installments, they've gotten better. Um, so at least you can tell they're making an effort. But in the middle of the series, holy shit, did they fuck this up. I don't understand how difficult it is. There, there's so many movies like Halloween 4, uh, Halloween 6, where they got so many things right. Uh, yet they fuck up the mask. It just, it drives me bonkers, and to be honest, I consider it pretty distracting to be looking at some of these awful masks. So that is the third biggest mistake, in my opinion, that the sequels made. The second biggest mistake uh, made in the sequels was turning Michael Myers basically into kind of a Jason Voorhees clone, uh, specifically kind of the robotic nature that he has. It all started with Halloween 2, uh, which is a sequel I actually love. Um... But Dick Warlock, who portrayed him, uh, famously kind of just walked into uh, the director's office, what's his name, Rick Rosenthal's office, uh, wearing the mask, and kind of just stood there, and Rosenthal said, okay, good, you can be Myers. Um, and uh, Warlock kind of asked for any direction, and Rosenthal didn't, didn't give him shit. So he kind of just used a uh, very robotic nature, you know, he's walking around with a scalpel, uh, and just kind of slowly walking, slowly walking. And it's fine for another franchise, but you had the original, Michael's, Michael ran across the street. He kind of jogged down the stairs after Laurie. You know, he wasn't a robot like he became in Halloween 2, and then Halloween 4, and then Halloween 5, and so on, and so on, and so on. You know, they, they, they turned him from the shape to some robotic Michael Myers and it was a huge mistake. Uh, what he was in the original, he was like the wind. He was there and gone. Uh, he was in the background, and then you look, and he's gone. Uh, that totally disappeared in all the sequels. I actually thought Halloween 2018 was going to rectify this. I got excited from some of the quotes that I saw. Uh, they're going back to basics, blah, blah, blah. But they were all talk. It was just a bunch of fan service bullshit. Uh, I was very disappointed that they kept Myers as kind of just a robotic uh, killing machine. And that was a big mistake because that's not who the shape was in the original Halloween. And finally, getting to my number one mistake that the sequels made, and that is, uh, it sucks because this is another thing that happened in Halloween 2, which I like, uh, but it is the brother-sister storyline. Famous story, obviously. Carpenter did not want to write the sequel. or didn't want to make a sequel at all. Um, got uh, talked into it, I think some contract bullshit or something like that. Um, so this was right after kind of the Empire Strikes Back and you had the uh, Vader reveal as uh, Luke's father and Carpenter had a six pack of beer and wrote that in. Uh, he has later admitted that he's regretted that. Um, 
he should regret that because it just pigeonholed so much shit for the later sequels. Uh, he had uh, Jamie Lee Curtis couldn't return for Halloween four, so you know, okay, so what were they gonna do? Okay, let's make it another family member, and then it just that little line of Michael Myers being Laurie Strode's brother turned into basically it was the first steps of the Thorn bullshit, um, and obviously just a garbage mistake. Uh, it's just it's just crazy how something small like that, a little throwaway line, uh, can. I don't want to say ruin the franchise, but it was kind of the beginning of the end there. Um, and what's funny is in Halloween 2, if you watch the movie, the movie would be exactly the same without that line. It changed absolutely nothing besides giving him motive, which is fucking stupid and ruined it for everyone. It, it just ruined it. Giving him motive ruined it. And it all started with that line and it kind of just... Uh, piggybacked from there into the garbage that we had after that so like i said there is i don't want to say tons but yeah there are tons of mistakes that the sequels make but for me these three are the main catalyst that make them uh, hard i don't i don't want to say hard to watch either but they they just are all they all are very distracting and they they kind of started the path of ruining the franchise for me and like i said i thought i thought we were going to get uh thought we were going to get that rectified in Halloween 2018, um, but that obviously wasn't the case. So I have no confidence it's going to be the case in Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. We just have to go with it. I'm going to try to be more positive, um, but I am still going to call it the flaws because there are many flaws. Um, so thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.